let's now discuss a few important concepts regarding amputations. Whenever we are learning about amputations, there are two things that very similar terms that come to mind. One is amputation and other is disarticulation. What, are, what is the difference here? Amputation is surgical removal of a part through one or more bones. Disarticulation is surgical removal of a part of a limb through a joint. So imagine this is the knee joint here which I am drawing. This is the femur, this is the tibia and you have the fibula somewhere here. If you are doing an amputation, you, you do the amputation through multiple one or more bones like this. You cut at this level and you remove the distal part of the limb like this. This is amputation. Okay. Now what is disarticulation? In disarticulation, you are not doing anything to the bones. You are just cutting the ligaments. You cut the ligaments here. And obviously, other soft tissues and blood vessels, everything has to be cut. But primarily, we are not cutting the bone. We are cutting the ligaments and you completely remove the part. So, this is what we call as disarticulation. Okay. So, this is the difference between amputation and disarticulation. Okay. What are the indications of amputations or disarticulations? Most common indication worldwide is peripheral vascular disease. Peripheral vascular disease because of ischemia. This is the most common cause. Second, in India, the most common cause is traumatic, either because of a crush injury or unsalvageable damage because of an RT or something like that. This is the most common cause in India. In Western countries and in whole of the world, it is POVD. Okay. Then gas gangrene is an indication, malignant tumors, frostbite, congenital anomalies and plain limb with trophic ulcers. So these are all indications of amputation. There are different kinds of amputations based on the site of amputation. So if you are amputating the entire shoulder girdle like this, you call it four quarter amputation, four quarter amputation. Amputation through the humerus is elbow elbow amputation. Amputation through the elbow is elbow disarticulation. Through the forearm is below elbow amputation. Then you can have wrist disarticulation. Through the carpal bones, we call it transcarpal amputation. Through the metacarpals, it is transmetacarpal amputation. What about the lower limb? When you are amputating the entire hip girdle, you call it hindquarter amputation. Uh, then you can disarticulate the limb through the hip, hip disarticulation. Then if you are amputating through the level of the femur, you call it above knee amputation. Then comes knee disarticulation. Even below it, you can amputate through the leg. You call it below knee amputation. And then even distal to it, you can have ankle disarticulation.